Well, hello and happy Friday. I am Tanya McLeod, your host of the Daily Hot Sheet for what's happening here in Roswell, Georgia. And I'm a little later than I would hope. Um, it's the afternoon now, and usually I try to do this first thing in the morning. I'm just starting uh, this month in November um, doing this daily check-in and kind of going over what's happening with our mortgage rates and then doing a deep dive into what's happening specifically in Roswell, Georgia with our real estate market. So uh, without further ado, let's take a look. So today, today's daily mortgage rate is at three, 7.36. This is great news. We are below 7.5. So yesterday we finished out the day at 7.6 and the day before then on Wednesday, we were at 7.88. And as you can see down here, we were up at 8%, over 8% in uh, mid-October. So this is really, really great news that the rates are coming down just a little bit and to be down below seven and a half is awesome. So it's showing dated March 15th. This is the initial post that I made we're allowing you to come and check and use the this blog to check your daily mortgage rates I'm linking them below each of these videos so you'll be able to find those as well and then underneath you'll see check to calculate what your mortgage payment would be as well so be sure to check that as well but now we're gonna go click over and I'm gonna log into my local MLS and I'm going to just show you here in Roswell, Georgia, what's happened and changed in the last 24 hours. So when I first did this on Wednesday for my first day, I looked at the past seven days. And then yesterday I decided I'm going to switch it and do it in 24 days, in 24 hours. So um, let me make this smaller. And here, so you can see right now, we've got two brand new listings that just came on the market today, Friday. We do not have any that have fallen out of contract and come back on the market, so that's a really great thing. We do have three that decided to decrease their pricing. No increases. We do have one that went pending, and remember we were trying to explain the difference between active under contract and pending. So down at the bottom here, you'll see we have one also that went active under contract. That means that they went under contract, but they're still um, doing their inspection. So they have a contingency yet to be resolved. And if they don't resolve it, then usually it will come back on market. And if they do resolve it and they continue moving forward, that's when it switches to actually pending. And then you're just waiting for the day of closing. So we have one that went pending, one that went on hold, one that withdrew. And again, we have no idea while people decide to, or why people decide to put something on hold or withdraw. Expired is a different story. That means their, their time that they listed at that period is done, but uh, and they were unsuccessful. Closed, yay, we had 10 closing. So this is a great way to finish out the day. When I checked this morning, we had only had eight. So just so you know, we are, um, uh, we've are we had two closings since I checked first thing this morning. So it's 10 total. Nobody expired, so that's great. And like I mentioned, we have one that's active under contract. So I'm trying to keep these super brief. If you have any questions, please reach out to me. If you've had any thoughts at all about selling your home, oh, I would love to talk with you because we are in such dire need of inventory of homes to sell. As you can see, we've only had two new listings that came on the market. One went pending, one, active, one went um, active under contract. That means as soon as they're coming on the market, they're going under contract. So we really have nothing available. So I would love it if you could put me in touch with anybody you know that's thinking about making a move because if they've got a home to sell, I would love to sell it because I'm sure I've got a buyer for them. Thanks so much for watching. Hope you're enjoying these daily hot sheets. And if you have anything in particular that you'd like to know more of, reach out to me and let me know. I will link the mortgage calculator and the uh, today's mortgage rates uh, down below so you can always check those as well. Hope you're doing great.